What's good, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to the challenge, your boy Jared. Y'all, I'm going to just let you right now. It's about to go down. <laughs> just know, it's about to go down. Y'all know I ain't shit when I start talking like that, okay? <laughs> just know, it's about to go down. Um, today we're going to be looking at a video from two years ago. And shout out to Kendra because she left these old these old clips up, these old videos up. Jesus Murphy. She plus size, but she will not date a man who was plus size. Or I should say fat. We ain't we ain't better call men plus size. We we not plus size. I'm sorry, that's specifically for women. Plus size is for women. Um big and heavy or big and tall is for for get men. We we not about to sit here and say, oh that man is plus size or he's or he's um what what women call it now? What they say? Um He's um What the fuck they be saying? Well, yeah, plus size, but shit. There's another word they say, but I can't really think of right now because it sounds dumb as shit too. But let's get it. Oh, you came in with the light. I like it. Ready with the light. <laughs> Hi, Kendra. Good What's your name, girl? Uh, Denitris, but people call me Nietzsche. Nietzsche. Okay, Nietzsche, where you calling us from? South Florida. South Florida. How old are you? I am 41, soon to be 42 this month. I am a Capricorn. Shout out to all the caps. A Cap mm -hmm. Capricorn. Do you want to give your actual date? I want to just leave it at Capricorn. <laughs> yeah, just stick with that. Okay. Do you have any kids, Nietzsche? No. No kids. What do you do for a living? Social work. Social worker. All right. So this is Nietzsche in South Florida. 41 is a Capricorn. No kids and is a social worker. What kind of man you looking for, girl? <laughs> Child. Okay. The type of man I'm open to, because I don't really like to say looking for, because I, I want somebody that wants to pursue me, that takes interest in me. So I kind of say what I'm open to um, is a guy that's supportive, that can communicate effectively, um, don't need a bunch of referrals because I do enough of that at work. So. <laughs> Um, I would prefer someone who has his life together, has his mindset together. Because a lot of guys like to say, oh, she crazy, oh, she this. But these guys, my Lord, <laughs> they be needing referrals left and right. So somebody where I could go to work and come home and not have so to. So where do you get a, okay, so where would you get a referral from? His last girlfriend? No, I'm saying a guy that need a, ref okay, because I'm a social worker. So if a guy come to me and got all these issues, it's like I have another client. So he need he need therapy. He need help getting his finances on track. He need um, information on how he can go get jobs. You know, like if. I so that nigga need therapy. Talk about he need therapy. Need help on how to get his finances together and to get his um how to find a job. Then that nigga don't need to be dating. If you gotta have a if you gotta have a chick help you try to figure out your finances, try to figure out how to get how to keep and how to get and keep a fucking job, that nigga don't need to be dating. So that tells me the kind of damn men you go ass used to dating. Let them talk long enough, they damn expose themselves, ma'am. You literally just exposed your damn self. I'm listening to it just like the damn audience is listening to it. I ain't saying nothing that's offensive. You put that bullshit out. If I got to work after work, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want a guy that needs referrals to better himself, needs community services to better himself. I need somebody that's already together, has his mental together. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep going. What else you want? Um... I'm not attracted to like big men because I'm a plus size woman myself, but I don't want to date somebody that's plus size. I'm not attracted to it. So 
I don't so girl, now you know I'm gonna give it to you because when guys come up here that are plus size and say they don't want a plus size girl, I say to them, how are you gonna not want something that you are? So you have the right to your preference and that's fair, but I'm gonna give you the same treat I would give a guy and I have said this to men. So you saying you don't want a plus size guy, but you're plus size yourself. Tell me why that makes sense. Um, because I'm not committed to it. So if they want a relationship where we're not going to be intimate, <laughs> then okay. But I'm not attracted to it like at all. I don't understand that. <clears throat> I get it. A lot of a lot of women have their size preferences. Okay, I understand it, but I don't understand how y'all get off saying that y'all don't want a man of a certain size. Meanwhile, y'all very much that size, and then y'all over here complaining about what a man is. I, I don't. I really, truly don't understand. Stand that, and in fact, <coughs> excuse me, the fact that you said that you don't want a man based upon his weight. Okay, I understand that, but then the problem comes in is where if you get a man that's smaller than you, what does he want from you? That's the real question. So what do you say to the men who are not attracted to plus size women? That That's fine because I understand that because I also don't want anybody that's not sexually attracted to me. So it's fine. I feel like long as that's fair. If we both understand what we want, you know, it's fine. Listen, that's fine. I'm not going to challenge you, but I'm just going to ask this last question. If you're not attracted to plus size, and that's fair of you, have you just, are you trying to lose weight? Because if you're saying you don't like, you essentially don't like big people, and you told me that you're plus size. So are you trying to lose weight yourself so you're not a part of the category of the people that you say you don't like? Um... I mean, sometimes I work out, sometimes I don't. When I say plus size, what I'm saying is I don't... She said sometimes I work out, sometimes I don't. So that means you're not consistent working out. I mean, granted, I need to get my ass in the gym too. I'm not sitting here trying to down down or anything. I'm just saying, if you're going to have that standard for a guy that you say that you won't, then you should be that same you should have that same standard for yourself i don't understand i don't understand how women can have that standard for men but yet <clears throat> when it comes to them they want to sit there and act like nothing's happened I, I don't understand that part like really big guys that have like big boobs and stuff like that i I'm going to just say it. If, if I want titties in my face, I could be a lesbian. I don't like it. I'm just not attracted to it. We're not going to spend that much time on this. We're gonna, we are gonna we can keep it moving. But and for all the women in the comments saying that's our preference, y'all don't say that when the men come up here. When the men come up here and then when they're, when they're bigger, and I can play several videos of me saying the same exact thing to guys that say what you say. What are you looking for? Um, loyal, honest, in shape, flexible. Pause. 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 You said in shape, Robert. Well, I mean, I like them. I like them tight. I like them kind of tight. You said in shape, Robert. <laughs> This is why I don't do a dating show. <laughs> Damn. What's wrong with you asking me my oh, preference? You Okay, I did ask you your preference. Can you just move the phone back so we can see if you're in shape? Are you in shape, Robert? No, I'm a little heavy, but I mean, we can, be in, we can get in shape together. I am 280. I am 280 at 6'1. 280 at 6'1, that isn't obese. That's big, but that isn't obese. At least I'm within the height weight index. <coughs> just maybe 20, 20, 25 pounds. Go ahead and lose that. All right? Black women today. 
clinically, on average, more obese than they are just big. So you think right now you're in a healthy shape? My nigga, first of all, I'm gonna have to roast you because of your hair. What the fuck? What the fuck you got going on? This nigga got the. <laughs> this nigga got the budget white boy haircut. <laughs> The budget man bun. <laughs> this thing said this and this and this. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Woo. This man angry. <laughs> this thing look like the goddamn Kool Aid man. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I ain't shit. <laughs> Back up I know. So, you. so right now you're at a healthy size. Oh yeah, definitely believe so. All right. So you're how old? Are, you're six one. <laughs> Brother. Definitely believe so. All right. So you're. How you're 6'1"? Yes, ma'am. And how much you weigh? 280. 280. Okay, so according to the ideal weight chart, 6'1", you should weigh between 166 and 202 pounds. See that? Look at that. That's, so you're 80 pounds over. Pound, you're, about, you're, pound. About, you're about 78 pounds over the weight you should weigh. Now, all of a sudden, y'all want to switch it up because a lady's saying it. Now, we're going to keep the same energy. At I'm all times, so you can have your preference. But the next time a big man comes up here and says he don't want a big girl, I'm gonna let it rock because I'm seeing how the women today are supporting a woman that can say that, but y'all don't support it when a guy says that. So we gonna keep it one thousand. I've been on every episode because I hosted it, and I know how the comments usually go down when a guy says what you said. But if that's your preference, that's your preference. Okay. Right. And I think, you know, as long as people being honest about what they want, I think that's all that really matters and people shouldn't judge. So if a guy say, hey, I don't like plus women, then I know, hey, I don't need to waste my time with him. Like, it's simple for me. Okay, keep going. So what else? What's some other thing you don't want? Um, smokers, I don't like, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I'm kind of square with all that stuff. So, I mean, drinking is fine, but I don't want to date smokers because I don't want to smell it. So that's pretty, and liars, I can't deal with liars. No smokers. Mm -hmm. And no liars. Okay. So, all right, Nietzsche, do you have, I think you told me what you desire, so let's keep it moving. What's the age range you want to date? Um, honestly, like 35 to 55. <laughs> 35 to 55, okay. Could he have kids? Yeah. The guy can't. The guy can't have kids. Okay. Did you did, just just curious? Did you ever want kids? I did, and um, honestly, I just feel like I probably just missed the boat on that because I tried hard not to be somebody baby mama. <laughs> so I just feel like now that I'm like I'm about to be forty two, like I feel like I kind of just missed the boat on that, unfortunately. But I know I would have been a good mom. Okay. There's other ways for you to still be a mom. Don't give up on that dream if that's what you want to do. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. So, listen, don't feel defeated. There's so many different ways you can adopt. You can be with someone um, that already has children. Yeah. Kendra, um, I hate to tell you this. But the way that everything is going right now, men ain't doing that shit no more. <laughs> Sorry to tell you that, but men ain't dealing with that shit no more. There's um, different procedures. So, you know, 41, yes, it does get more difficult when you get older. That is a reality. But I would, if I was you, I would exhaust all options if that's something that you desire. Okay. All right. So that's why I kind of have I can that tell age. That's, 
because um, um you know maybe the younger guys might be willing to maybe have another kid if i find somebody you know to be with and we're compatible so okay well all the men be having babies too child <laughs> but i see what you're saying that's why you have a 35 to 55 okay um does the guy gotta be in south florida no um i would prefer somewhere not cold just in case i you never know who you fall in love with um, but I'm born and raised in Dade County, um, but I, I can't really do the cold weather. So it'll have to be somebody like super amazing <laughs> for me to move to the coolers. Okay. Okay. Um, Nietzsche, what was your last relationship? Um, I wouldn't say it was a relationship. I was dating someone that ended maybe three weeks ago. Three weeks. So you was in a relationship and ended three weeks ago? Yeah, we were dating. Did you want a relationship? I want a relationship, but it wasn't going to work with him. We decided to just be friends. So that was best. Okay. So this is Nietzsche, South Florida, 41 Capricorn, no kids, social worker. She doesn't mind if you have kids. She doesn't want you to be plus size. You can't be in a cold area. Um, I guess the last question for you, Nietzsche, is why would a guy be lucky? Oh, give me your age range. Age range is 35 to 55. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Child, at this point in life, um, <laughs> if I find someone where we like each other and we could be together and grow and, you know, I would say we are blessed to have each other because it is so hard. It is so hard dating. A lot of people crazy, liars. So I wouldn't really say somebody lucky to have me. I would say if I find my match, we are blessed to have each other. You are blessed. Ma'am. You know, I ain't got nothing to say or do All I'm going to say is this. She full of shit. You know it. To have each other. Okay. When was your, I know you said you were dating, but when was your last actual relationship? Oh, I'm divorced. Um, so that would have been my last relationship. Oh, and that how long was it for? Not that long. It was like two years. Okay. And when did that end? I want to say like maybe two or three years ago. It's been a while. Okay, two or three years ago. All right, let's do it. So that you're done and over with that. Now you're ready for something real and substantial. Sneechy in South Florida, 41 Capricorn. No kids, social worker, 35 to 55. All right, Nietzsche, boo, give them your Facebook page. You know what the sad part of it is? This shit right here, <laughs> it makes up a lot of the problems that going on, go on in, in, uh, in the world. Because the fact of the matter is that a lot of these chicks believe this shit. That they deserve a man of a certain caliber. And then, meanwhile... They turn out to be trash. I mean, but like I said, granted, she may be she. Obviously, I don't. I don't think she'll be a good, good woman for anybody. To be honest with you, just because the way she kind of carries herself. But the big ass shit, though, it, it's just like okay. He's a big guy, but the thing is, you're a big woman. He's you're a big guy, and then the fact of the matter is that the women were calling out the calling out the men for saying that shit. But meanwhile, they agree with the woman. It kind of it's kind of a just it's kind of it it kind of shows the delusion that a lot of these women have. Granted, this two years ago, but still, it still is prevalent today. But I don't know. Anyways, guys, like, share, subscribe, channel support, the podcast on spot.com. Again, I'll be posting content throughout the week for my vacations uh, so that you guys can continue to get content. Anyways, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Thank you guys for listening. Bye, guys.